Some big news this morning concerning standardized tests for students. The Texas Education Commissioner is not happy with the way those tests are being implemented and wants changes to make sure your kids are better prepared. We get more from Kate Whitehall live at the Capitol with details. Kate, good morning. Good morning. Well, later on this morning, the Texas State Teachers Association, well, they're going to be right behind me here at the state capitol, announcing an initiative that aims to prevent more cuts to the state's education budget. And it's because of those cuts from this past legislative session, $4 billion in cuts to the education funding that led the Texas Education Commissioner, Robert Scott, to call for changes to the way Texas students are tested on standardized tests. Now, during the midwinter conference for the Texas Association of School Administrators right here in Austin, Scott told a crowd of 4,000 that because of the cuts, he understood that schools are having a hard time getting those resources to properly prepare students for new tests. Specifically, the new exams for high school students who must now pass 12 end-of-course tests in order to graduate. And those exams will count towards 15% of their final grade. That's starting with the class of 2015. Plus, there's that new star test. Now the comment that drew the most applause was when he stated, quote, I believe that testing is good for some things, but the system that we created has become a perversion of its original intent, and the intent to improve teaching and learning has gone too far afield. I look forward to reeling it back in. So the next question is, well, how is he going to do that? One option is to announce an appropriations request for the legislative session, which doesn't even happen until next year, and try to get the funding necessary so they can help create those higher standards in schools. Or he cannot certify the state, state standardized testing. That likely won't happen, but we will, of course, monitor what happens as a result of his comments. We're live from the state capitol. Kate Wydaw, KXAN News.